Brent, you'll be taking it away with me. We've got another uh, lovely match to break down here. Holly CTF. Once again, sniper rifle on the map. Frosty's bread and butter. And it seems as if he's the most prolific sniper rifle on this map as well. He will absolutely use it uh, to the best of its ability. Focus on him to grab it and make something happen as he's quickly making his way to the snipe side. But remember, just because sniper's on the map and it's on the snipe side, rocks are what's most important on this map. That rock side control is what dictates flag grabs and you can already see it from the side of flyers. They instantly pull all the way through the rock side and it's up to Frosty lay down the shots. The rockets Ooh. come through and this could be an early cap from flyers. Flyers. This is a strategy that they have absolutely perfected over uh, over the last year of practice. They love this rock side pull. We all came in doubting Flyers, and they're here to surprise us. They are no strangers to a coordinated opening Defend strat on Kali CTF. And right now, Rockside being held down by Blue. The flag not still being captured, though. Base. Lethal trying to pull out a counter of his own. He does end up getting taken down in the window. But that flag, I believe, was, uh, was returned. It's still up in red base. It's being pulled again. So Flyers going to take a second try with the flag here in Compton no, with a bit of a clamber. scrappy fight. Protect he does get out on top, but CC getting caught in a clamber. He hands the flag off like a baton over to Connolly, who's looking to run at the last links, but Lethal hits him with a headshot to drop the flag on the elbow. But do they have too many players up to get this flag, flag in? Envor, last one to do it. They got it far enough. They got a cap on the board. Look at that Flyers. They, uh, like I said, they love that rock side. And it was Commonly who stayed alive for so long at that top rocks, being a turret that made the opportunity. But man, talk about a, maybe a fatal mistake. It was so close. That that clamber from Super CZ, it could have cost them a flag grab. But look at that, they're responding right back. A flag out of their own. They're going to opt for the old tried and true snipe side run. Oh. And that is the oh, biggest no. issue. It happens so oh. much. That little ledge can cost flags. Frosty fights too to alleviate the pressure. You so that flag will go in but man the little capture. mistakes can cost you dearly both sides showing why capture royal 2 recently picked up a butterfinger sponsor and he just wanted to let everyone know with that flag run either way he got it in we tied up the game sentinels turned it around like planned and now it's all about the power weapons that rocket just spawned up snakebite does what he can with the damage to keep him back but ryan noob who is still subbing for the team he's got all the goodies look at this carbine nades across the map and a rocket launcher just to let him know this carbine gonna be so okay. I was gonna say he's being so effective. He switches to the rockets and just puts one into a royal two, who is, I think, an easy enough area. kill. And now he's, I, I don't, I'm not sure about those rockets, Ryan Noob. I guess, uh, I guess he thinks that, uh, you know, you might as well send them off and, and hopefully that you'll hit something. I think there could have been some guaranteed kills with those rockets. As we see the flag out, the carbine gonna be putting in work as he's just gonna be able to laser across the map. But man, I, I just, I feel as if you have to use rockets efficiently on this map. You have to guarantee yourself some Sniper kills and we'll see if that seconds. cost this team Enemies of flyers early on as they're gonna have to try to find this return and it's super flag. cc who gets on top of it but it comes at a cost of two lives snipers up royal two looking like he's playing halo 5 in 2016 he has not moved from top rocks for a good two to three minutes just hold it down with carbine the first person i think to take him off his pedestal will be frosty because the man's got a sniper in hand line him up knock him down oh does whiff that quick scope getting shot mid scope there throws him off. Snakebite will get the kill instead. Frosty still plenty of time to put things together. Just needs to find targets. Super CC. Frosty still getting that snipe arm warm. Just wait till he starts connecting here. The nade will do it. He's got a double. Converts it to a triple. What I tell you? He's just getting started. Oh, he's still going. He can't no. stop till he's done. Oh, just in the body, just misses the headshot for the overkill. Uh, it makes me sad to see, but three shots and the sniper left. Flag is out in the trench in the open. Frosty has a perfect line of sight to punish anyone who decides to overextend for that flag. They're going to have to deal with him. As you see, Ryan Noob, he's trying his best to get up on that catwalk. He's putting in the hurt, but still, that flag is alive. Commonly finds two. I think that will secure the return for this team as it looks like as the Flyers find a full white. And now they have rockets knocking on the elbow. He says, hey, are you home? Because I'm going to find the booms in the base. It's going to be tough for Sentinels to get these guys out. This should be another flag cap for the side of Flyers. I love this from Commonly. Block the elbow spawns. Allow the run through Trench. Textbook flag gameplay from Flyers. Find our flag. And Frosty had the ingredient, ingredients. Uh, he started cooking, but it just seemed like 
Flyers were ready with a counterattack here. Frosty, a counter of his own, though. He does pull the flag out. They try to get the return at the same time. Head down on the flag as he tries to, to bring it back, but on board there to save it, to keep it in play. The remaining flag out in center, and he will dive on for the return. Is there anybody on Sentinels in position to touch that flag, though? There's one player left in blue, and I think CC took him down in that gunfight. That flag still up and likely... Yes, it is. Flight capped captured. for a 2-1 lead from Flyers in Game 1. Well, elimination bracket here, Garrett. They need to fight back to stay in. And now Flyers, well, their flag grabs have looked textbook. They look set up. They've had, they execute on the obvious play. The question is, can they do it when it gets scrappy? When, when Sentinels is just applying pressure after pressure. Three go down. It's up to Super CC to hold down the base. And he's doing a wonderful job. He takes down Royal 2 with some great shots and holds off Snakebite on the elbow as he allows his teammates to spawn up. And they're going to be able to play some defense for now as Super CC goes massive in the base. Super CC just flying in the elbow. We managed manage to get that trade uh, for it. And on for Gonna get a kill of his own. Still all defensive kills. The pressure is absolutely on from Sentinels as they continue to not let up here. Just holding players back at spawn. Onward getting tagged up with nades immediately. Look at they're all huddling in the corner, trying to break out a blue base. Sentinels need to put work in off of this pressure, and you still see the nades coming in. The weapon's about to pop as well. Frosty, round two. Sniper in hand. He could pull something off, and he could do it here. Victim number one. Oh, he took the low path. Lucky Onboard. He had a frame. Oh, he yeah, he does. He's definitely he saw. Him. Okay, yeah. Oddmore was like, I, I made it through. Uh, no, you did it. Frosty's going to be able to take you out. And Frosty, last time we saw him with the sniper, it was a triple kill that allowed his teammates to push forward, but they weren't able to get a flag cap off of it. And as we start to see the overextends come through Rockside once again, Frosty, it's as if he's only having to play defense with this sniper oh. for so long as he's finally able to find commonly, but Oddmore will answer. And this is what hurts. If you have to play defense oh, with the no. sniper, when you lose it, that means they're in your base oh, look at this odd for he goes for the spawns instead of the flag and that's gonna allow them to trap him in the base check out this angle from on he could start peeling heads unfortunately the execution isn't gonna come through sentinel slay their way out and they're gonna find oh. on in the trench they knew he was there, but Frosty's still getting taken out. I like the attempt, though, trying to clean up Envoy. The remaining members of Sentinels, they have pushed up to blue base. They're going to try to get themselves a pole here, but Envoy's still living on red side. No way he hits this. He does narrowly with this snipe. Still a line of defense here, trying to do it with the mag. Going to have to live as long as he can to delay and get that flag, but too many members of Sentinels will put him down, keep the flag in play, and can they put this in? It looks like the flag has been pulled by Flyers, so a counter out as Flyers in a last ditch attempt will try to keep that flag out of their base here frosty though he grabbed the snipe off the body of envoy and he's lining him up that's a flag, flag return that's a pickup and a flag. cap and a tie game off a of snake flag. bite Capture. and this is what sentinels do so well it it almost feels as if you can count them out the flag it looked like it was going to be perfectly grabbed from flyers but then they answer back they're just so hard to put out and now it's tied up to all the pressure starting to be applied on the elbow side from pj He's going to win the fight, but is traded immediately. And it's going to come down Rocket to these next couple of kills. This set of rockets and the next sniper rifle to determine who has the opportunities. And look at this. Flyers are in the base. This is their next shot, but they're not finding the kills. As of now, oh. the rockets come through. They oh. miss. They gift a pair. And the flag's being pulled out on the opposite oh, side. No. A counter opportunity. Sentinels, they punish and they punish hard. Frosty's getting that flag out and away. Only one player really in position to stop it. Lethal's name will take him out and that's going to be three two sentinel pull it from the edge of the feet that was beautiful out of sentinels if we get a replay we need to replay the end of that game flyers put all of their resources into red to pull that flag they had the rockets in the center they had commonly out of the elbow look at this cc had the rockets he didn't get a kill he died with them and the royal two knowing exactly what to do he sits on the elbow keeps his presence low he's going to hold it down with rocks and frosty who must have flanked through during that time had grabbed the flag to run it for just a, an unpressured what a clean snipe side run with nobody there to stop him by the the time they did get there it was too little too late he got royal two holding it down but this is how sentinels clutches up games they are so coordinated they know how to win and that's what matters most of course
yeah, and they get slays as well. Look at Frosty. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Yeah, Frosty, it felt like he had every sniper on the map, uh, and he put him to work, and it made a big difference. Lethal, you know, he, he's, he's new. We'll forgive it. 8 and 13, 14 assists for him. Although, one thing I just love from Frosty, that last play that he made, the way he overextended into the base, he had perfect timing. He had the confidence that his teammates were going to find the kills so that he could pull that flag uncontested, and that's when he gets that advanced timing. He gets that flag basically to the 50 yard line before the three players that went down were able to spawn up and it makes the third flag cap the easiest yep. one of the day that's just you know just testament to sentinels and their capability in objective they've things have gone i, I want to say as planned though flyers came out so hot i thought for a second they might have pulled that game away but sentinels they'll make it through they'll take game one slayer Puts them in the hot seat. Things have not looked so good so far in Slayers. If Sentinel can pop off here on Slayer, then Flyers, their chances dwindle. But Flyers, if they want to come back in this series, this is their chance to do it. It's all going to come down to this opening strat, the OS, the combo. Plenty to fight over. Let's see how they do it. Man, I, I always love different team strategies on Regret because some teams, they go full-fledged. I'm going to full send to this overshield. Others, they play a little bit more passive. They play back. They try to burn the players that push too far forward. We'll see which either side depends on Frosty. He's going to immediately go up to top mid. Interesting strategy. We'll see what he opts to do as he's going to find a player at the noob combo, but can he find the kill? Frosty, Lost an angel feet. perched oh, above, no. dropping below and whiffing everything. What's going on here? Melee's not connecting. CC and teammate get two kills. It's a third on the board. And Ryan Noob with the OS to start the game. A bit of an unfortunate blunder on that opening strat. And Flyer's going to look to prey on the new spawners in blue. Ryan Noob just chipping shots in here. Two players up on car. Ryan Noob left and right. Going to try to tag up both of them, leave them for the teammates. As Ryan Noob float planks uh, into blue base underneath. Commonly getting flanked on both sides as well, thanks to Lethal, who does make it through to break out of what could have been a, a pretty terrible spawn trap. So great work out of Sentinels to reset it. Man, that was, that was a great start from Flyers, but like you said, Sentinels, they answer right back, and it feels as if you make any mistake, they will answer quickly and decisively as Ryan Noob needs to work with his teammate to find some kills. They're sending it off. Envoy is able to find Frosty, but the spawn of Snakebite in the back will find another, and now it's up to Envoy and Super CC in the base, and they're going to win out their fights, and this is the first opportunity we're going to see from Flyers to maintain the spawn control and to find all of Sentinels trapped at the back of Red Bay. Envor can put the insult to injury here with this with this caster. Look at this. Spams the entire thing into lethal. Lethal, it's been a while since you played H5. Turns out Halo 3 doesn't have a gun quite like this. This thing is pretty damn oppressive. And Envor making him feel the pain. Gonna try to get oh Royal 2 in the bottom of the lift. Commonly will take him instead. And Envor can live for another gunfight right up behind Lethal. Oh no. Putting them down left and right here. 14 to 8 as they start to pull away. Onboard is playing just a bit faster than everyone else right now. He is, in my opinion, the main slayer for this Flyers roster. When they picked him up, I said, hey, this is a roster to look out for. They finally have that slayer that they've been missing, and he's showing it off right now, killing spree for him. And now it's just lethal sitting at P2, trying to regain his shields. Oh, to talk about perfect timing. Oh, gets Onboard on the catch out. Overshield went to Royal 2. So this is Sentinel's chance to retake the game lethal did what he needed to do though he held it down from pink and allowed his teammate royal 2 to pick up the os to see if he can turn it into something royal 2 getting tagged up players spawned up through red already holding down car side royal 2 about to get into a second fighter up on car will spot cc shots into him no more os to work with though and needs to use his high ground to his advantage not getting the hit markers either that player is still there though royal 2 can he burn him before he lives up he's going to drop down the bottom map not a good place to be can't trade with the melee either and that is going to go in the favor of flyers speaking of melees we got whiffs left and right here at all these trades handedly in the favor of flyers as they do lead by five frosty looking to close it though oh, i'm going to say lethal as you even play halo 3 you know you got to get up close and personal to hit a melee i, I don't know why you're 
while you're throwing out the fist from so far. Frosty's going to be able to find Envor as it's going to be a battle for top control. You see all of Flyers starting to work towards that car in top mid side. If they can win the fights, they can retake top mid, but it's PJ from under... Actually, he's not Royal 2 underneath who just has the yep. PJ tag on. Oh, that's interesting. He's going to be able to find more as the kills are coming through. Frosty's going to find five, and this is it. Sentinels, like he said, it's one mistake, one error, and it costs so deeply. It cuts so so hard as they're starting to take pace of the game and they're starting to Here find kill after kill trying to collapse on blue base as well. The new spawners were trapped there, but I think they might have fended off the, the storm here for just a second. Snake bite. He did actually sneak through under blue base. He got a five as well. And he does have his PJ tag, Garrett. So yeah, no confusion there. They, they're not trying to trick us. Losing my mind. Matt is, is royal too. Either way, Snake Bite will make his way through car. He's still flanking here. Lethal picks it up. They got a three kill advantage from what was once a deficit. The new OS is about to pop as well. If they can hold this down, get the round of slays. That's a free OS and a, a snowball to start. But Ryan Noob already has a double on the feed. Flyers coming in. They're getting slays left and right. Commonly in CC pick it up. And this is the freest OS they've had all game. And that was the break that they needed. Question is, there's no noob combo, so it's still up in play. If Sentinels can get towards card two, they could potentially find that to neutralize the overshield. But Ryan Noob, he says, I'm just going to take on the entire team. I'm moving in. Super CC finds Snake Bite. He gets the shots in to let CC get the double. And CC could start stacking them up. Triple kill for oh. him. And that's going to be devastating for the side of Sentinels. That overshield costing dearly to their uh, efforts to win this second game. Despite CC popping off, they only have a slight lead here. They can turn this around very quickly. On board, trying to clean up Frosty. He does, but the trade comes in. Just a one kill advantage on the side of Flyers. Snakebite going to patiently spring jump his way back up. Spawn should be over on blue here. Snakebite and team can lock it down from top map. He's worried about a, a flank or a split spawner, but everybody rotated out through car here. Snakebite getting a little lost there. He does get taken out by the barrel. Unfortunately, Frosty, though, a flank of his own. He'll pick up a kill on the commonly. Just two kill deficit here. Frosty about to take on the gauntlet with Envor in front of him. He will get the shots in, but then tagged up from his right-hand side. So the baiting and switching out of Flyers is allowing them to just pull away one kill at a time. What a nade from Royal 2. Just is able to play his life for now. Lethal is able to find the first blood. And now look at that position from Royal 2. He gets up to car 3 and he's putting down the hurt. He's laying down the shots. Oh. The human turret. He doesn't oh. miss. Ryan Noob able to get the Castor last shot dead. necessary as he's going to get away with his life. Lethal, he's been tasked with finding that roamer and he unfortunately cannot sniff him out for now. Well, and it's going to be this next overshield that could victory. win the game for either team as we're Going to start to see the setups as lethal lands a goat of a nade on the onboard love that nade from him but overshield it's going to be soon and it's going to determine this game in my opinion if sentinels can hold it down for just the next 10 seconds they might be able to pick up this os and turn the game multiple players out on pink side frosty get tagged up he does get away with the os sentinels can they turn it around here just down by one frosty with a double gonna dive into blue base the saving grace that he is turn this into more he'll pick up shots into one turn to top attic and, and help out royal two who does trade that kill but despite it frosty this is a massive momentum switch they've tied the game here can they continue to make plays that player that was bottom base, man, he just finessed so hard. He's finding the teammates to come help. Unfortunately, it won't be enough. He will fall down on board. Keep Sentinels back at their base, not allowing them to collapse over and over again. Five but that minutes. overshield is what gives Sentinels the lead. It gives them, uh, it alleviates the pressure that they were feeling. And it's allowing Snakebite to get behind the opposing no team on board. That's going to be easy shots thrusting out that way. And now, to me, it's just a matter of time before Sentinels find these next Amen. couple kills and close this one out. We're down to the wire, the battle of attrition. Sentinels, they fought through, and now they have this slight advantage when it matters most. 48, looking for the 49th here. PJ diving in to clean up Ryan New. Ryan New going to try to run. Look at this man. He gets <laughs> around the running. corner. Snakebite going to try to chase him. But then Nades coming in at a Royal 2. That cheeky bugger, he gets out, but only temporarily. Snakebite with the moves to get up top car, but eats a combo instead. He's got shots coming in left, right, center. Somehow, this man is alive still. And everyone's still alive as they delay this game. But 49, one kill left. And can you run away from PJ this time, Ryan Duke? Can you run away this time? He's still he's still a weasel. Look at this man. Just down by a one kill deficit. Royal 2, he's got the caster. He'll plant it into Car's side. Can they just pick up one? 
to close this off. He's not getting any hit markers. There we go. Garrett, what's going on here? They've slowed it down to a crawl. <laughs> oh my. I, what's going on is Ryan Noob is saving the game for Flyers. I don't know how he got away both those times. No, he ran into it. Arthur, what are you oh. doing? He shot it five times. Come on, you got to realize. What? Do you think history doesn't repeat itself? He shot the same spot over and over and over again, and Ardmore runs into it. What is that? Come on. Oh, Frosty pops Can we see off. it again? Oh, my god! I'm not going to lie, Garrett. I looked away. I need to see it. I need to see it. It sounds too funny. We, we oh got to get a, maybe a I, quick I replay. Impossible. Believe. I, I, we gotta count it. I mean, yeah, we'll have to get a replay on that one. That's just absolutely absurd. In my oh, here opinion. we go. But look, one. <laughs> uh oh, let's go. Two. <laughs> oh, there we go. Shoot! Oh. Onward, see the screen. Come on, bro. How do you How get run into that? Look, he put he put the entire caster in the same spot. Did you miss? Charged out? everyone. Oh my gosh, that is just terrible. Royal two in 2021. The oh, man pushing the meta. Sit on the ring and just shoot charge shots and reclamber. Look at this. That's so two. annoying. Look, look, man. This and then, is three. Maybe he's counting it. Onboard's like, he's trying to count the That's ammo or four. something. That's <laughs> four. Come on, man. Oh. There's five. He reloads it. Come on. Oh, Six. he counts it. <laughs> Come on, oh, man. Six. Oh, he also got pushed. Three. Three. Look at that. Right. There was a player flanking through blue to shoot him to make him come forward. But, but it's funnier to think that Onboard just didn't know what he was doing there, and he dropped into it. Either way, Sentinels clutch up. Sentinels win by two kills by the skin of their teeth and now we're looking at a 3-0 if they can keep this energy up flyers still in this but man do they got to fight hard to come back yeah it's gonna be a tough one right it's so sad because flyers they're one two different plays in either game from being up 2-0 versus sentinels it's right. that's how close these games have been and now you know backs against the wall and you're going up against them in strongholds sentinels don't really make mistakes this is the one map where we saw sentinels absolute dominate uh, against envy it's going to be a tough road ahead for flyers i felt as if they had to steal away those first two games well, here we go. Last chance for Flyers in Championship Sunday. Going to come down to the opening strat here. There is no sniper this time around. It is a camo. It's a rail to fight over. And a shotgun as well in that yellow corner. We'll see what they look to prioritize, how they lock it down. But we will start, start it off with the boys on send. Frosty, who's been popping off all day long. He's going to meet three. Diving out from the catwalk here. But Frosty going to try to weather the storm. Nate's coming in as well. And as long as he stays up. His teammates flanking through, picking up kills. Ryan Duke does have the shoddy. Frosty's still down low, though, being such a pest. And he'll clean up Royal 2, reclamber, and get the melee and the double. Are you kidding? He's left with red bars, but his life as well. I mean, absolutely incredible play from Roy, uh, from Frosty to get down into engine one. He basically had to fight the entire roster coming through, and he comes out and executes. Snake Bite gets the uh, the railgun in hand, and this is looking great for the side of Sentinels. They have the control. The question is, can they execute on the kills? Royal two bailing out Snake Bite for the moment big, as kills are starting to come into the Sentinels column, and they're going to be able to find themselves a two cap momentarily. Sentinels momentum on their side. Snake Bite just completely alone here. Gonna look to Cap Nest. Actually, he leaves it immediately, Hostiles thinking that basement. he will be in trouble in just Hostiles a second. I like the attempt. He does have a teammate behind him. That's lethal. Enemy Gonna look to team. fill the position, cool. get the last second cap. Lost so lethal belief. managing to take one with him. Secure. That will be a trade despite the the efforts we saw in that opening strat, those Sentinels winning it handedly. Flyers somehow coming out, somehow pulling out a trip cap to start the game. And CC just going to hold it down with rail here. But you can see the spawners coming out of bunker. They don't want to dive in immediately. They need slays before the cavalry comes in. Look at this. CC and team, they're going to look to clean them up as they come off a of bunker. Uh, what a reversal from the side of Flyers. They're starting to execute the kills going in their favor. CC making plays. Unfortunately, going to miss that rail gun. But yeah, Snake Bite. Oh, no. I was about to say Snake Bite. You can't get away. No, you can't get away. The most exposed part for uh, for to take advantage of as we finally see them stop the trip cap lead. But now they have to worry about fighting another. It's just points on points for Flyers Sentinels. This is not what I expected from them in our third game. Railgun ready. Ryan New moving quick here. Just bobbing and weaving, keeping the pressure up, keeping them back in basement. Like you said, unexpected. 32 to 0 to start here. Ryan New just about hitting the teammate with the nade there, but he's in time for the camo. And nobody there to stop that camo from being grabbed from flyers. So they can keep those resources on their side. Speaking of which, CC, he's got it all. He's got the camo. He's got the rail. He's got a sneaky position right behind PJ as well. Can he cook something here? One down bottom nest. No need to. Okay. All right. Use the rail. That's fine. I trust you, CC. 
But he's going to get tagged up from above as well. Can he take Frosty with him? He'll turn two for a double. One more up in BR. Turn this into a triple. No. Lethal hiding in the corner. He somehow gets out. Lethal, man. Lethal just likes to ruin people's fun. I'm just going to say it. Super CC. That should have been an easy one, but Lethal makes it hard. Uh, unfortunately for the side of Flyers, they lose their two cap. They're able to get it back, but you can see a player already in base. We're going to take it away. Super CC, he's just in a war zone. Nades left and right, trying his best to survive, and that's not going to be a reality as uh, Snakebite going to be able to finish that one out. But still, Sentinels, they have quite a bit of ground to remake. It's just, uh, it's just a question of how fast they can do it and they can get this cap they could be looking at trip cap potential as they're gonna find two at the same time and this is what they've been waiting for the spawns are coming in at bunker this is a hold can they get the squeeze to finish is the question as royal two does royal two things perfect five shots off the player on spawn Royal 2 went for it all just to make sure he got himself a kill before he died. Lethal did the same thing. He'll take a trade, delay them as they try to break out a bunker. Snake bite, unfortunately, missing the spring jump, but might be able to turn this into something better. He's got commonly up on rail. That rail going to be important quite soon here, but trying to bait and switch with Lethal to stay up. If they can hold their numbers, they can hold the caps. They can make it back to center and control the game here. You can see Royal 2, Frosty coming out with kills. The remaining members of Flyers, they are rotating over to basement to try to get a cap, but they have to give up rail, and that means Frosty has it. Well, Garrett, you know what that means. Things can get real dicey here. It means I'm going to get excited because I think we're going to see some multis in the feed. Come on, Frosty. Let's see you hit some the shots. There's two players in the basement for the side of Flyers. Frosty's going to take them both Scout on. Basement. He finds one on Super CC. The camo trying to get away. Sakemite says goodnight to that. Frosty going to be able to find one more with his railgun in a moment. <laughs> Onboard goes down. And look at this. The railgun making all the difference in this game. As Frosty's finding kill after kill this player. Yeah, you're not getting oh. away. This is absolutely Frost beautiful from the side of Sentinels Dude. playing so well with each other and all of a sudden that massive deficit we saw at the beginning of the game it's null and void this is why you go for the trip cap folks it's so devastating to the side that's being trip capped on halfway to victory onboard did get a fast melt on the frosties that rail changed hands uh roll two getting taken out by a straight nade as well he'll drop the shot he's so flyers maybe a chance here they push through they managed to cap basement they got themselves a two cap on board, just looking for this pest on, on Carbine, but can't find it. Instead, he finds Lethal just targeting him across the map. Frosty somehow came back to, to the basement and grabbed the rail. He's got the ammo he had before, too. So Frosty, he can turn this into a play. He gets the, the hit markers for one, but then taken out immediately by Connolly. Flyers, they're fierce. They're fighting Game for their tournament lead. life to bring it back here, just basement. leading by one. Enemy team. There we go, commonly able to find lethal, but it just seems as if every time they have the push happening in the last about two minutes of gameplay, Sentinels has had the answer. And here we go. Finally, the break comes through. They're able to clear out the carbine spawn. They're going to flip them out towards bunker, but this is going to allow them to get nest and basement and to get the hold that they want as Onboard goes fist to cuffs with Frosty. Now it's up to commonly. This is the 1v1 that has to win, and he's able to do so. Lethal goes down with the help of his teammate, Ryan Noob, and this is absolutely absolutely incredible from the side seconds. of flyers they've been able to get out of the hold that oh. sentinels had and they're starting to Real get the points up. back on the board this is exactly what you want for flyers flyers under so much pressure but despite it they coordinate themselves and still make plays this time they face the brunt of lethal though what can he do rail in hand full rail to work with he can hold down camo as well two targets in front gotta hit one he'll take commonly one directly above as well. Lethal just a line of defense, putting them down. It's good to have him back, Garrett. He's still going. I love this. He knows how to use this weapon well as he's in a, he's been able to find multiple. The question is, can he get them off the spot? Oh, my. Can you imagine just the peak challenge into the rail? Unfortunately, that was just going to be a hair off. But what they're doing is they're keeping flyers in the back of their spot. Oh. They're waiting for the kills. Lethal fight it off. Or peek your head and you're going to be gone. But they keep them back in their spawn. They're going to keep them on a cycle. They're waiting for the kills, the opportunity to push through. Unfortunately, those kills aren't going to come through because commonly he got the split spawn and he puts it to work. Triple kill. Royal 2's gone and they're getting the trip cap opportunity as we speak. Flyers turning this game on its head. Oh my god. Ryan Noob gets the kill. Flyers, they can do it. The trip cap's in a Effect, only moments of opportunity for Sentinels to find an answer.
commonly with a galaxy brain play left sentinels swinging they're flustered they need to find their footing here they're stuck on spawn ryan noob just brawling up on white corner he will get taken out but everything they do delay sentinels they're running out of time they'll dive into br base in the last second to get some points but look at this cc and team they're in position for outside control they have basement they have nest sentinels will rotate over to basement can cc and team lock this down and bring it back though cc getting dropped by two sentinels doing everything they can to get into basement here but 96 and counting they're getting double teamed they reset the basement garrett i don't think they have time to turn this around the flyers will give us a series wait they're in nest but can they get the trade though they got cc sitting in br to trade it and just make my heart flutter a little bit my god 100 to 62 flyers have given us a series i mean think about it shy we're one two moments away from this being a 3-0 for flyers that's how close these games have been and they're finally able to get over the hump and get one on the board and it was a convincing one add that the way that they played that end game was brilliant and really what the play of the game was was commonly getting the split spawn towards bunker being able to push through to engine two find perfect timing get the triple kill apply the pressure and cement the game for his team it would be lovely to go back and watch that commonly play if possible. I know Louis got a lot going on, but if he does grab it, that was a, a beautiful thing to witness, though. Commonly, uh, so patient, right? He got the two kills for the double and then knew the barrel was behind, managed to tag it up, grab himself that triple kill. And from there, everything just clicked for Flyers. You knew they had it. They were It was in their their ballpark, their court. Uh, and this is it. So it's big shout out to Louis running the broadcast, getting these lovely replays. So commonly, we, we didn't get to see the first, but we definitely got to see the second and third kill. That was so beautiful. That little crouch with that angle through the long haul will snap onto one and then doesn't even worry about Royal 2 behind that pole. He sees the barrel. He knows exactly what to do. What a way to get momentum back for your team. Yeah, it's absolutely perfect, right? Because this is the this is the punishment from Sentinels not executing on the play, right? They tried to keep uh, Flyers back in that carbine. They were applying an immense amount of pressure, but they weren't pushing through. They were maintaining the midline. And what happens is commonly died, and he gets the split spawn and back bunker. And because they were so focused on all those players at carbine, they're taking the fights that allowed commonly to get great timing to find players with their back to them and for them to take absolute advantage the split spawn was devastating that's why you have to play fast you have to if you're going to keep them back at carbine you eventually have to take over carbine and predict the split spawn or have someone cement themselves at back bunker so that they can't get the split out back commonly super cc they're able to spawn in the bunker and take full advantage you said it perfectly if you're not quick enough to flip the map, then you're just caught in the middle. And those split spawners will get free angles and perfect timing on you. And sometimes, you know, it just takes that timing, that speed to avoid it. Either way, the tournament, the series continues. And this time it's Eden Oddball for game four. Flyers, they have kickstarted their momentum in a big way here. Jumping into Oddball. It's hard to say who has the guaranteed advantage. Oddball I've seen go left and right with this, uh, with, with, with this game type it's it's unpredictable and this is a perfect opportunity for flyers to showcase what they got Eden on oddball guys expect to see the ball mostly played at that red doorway where you can usually throw it off the side when you feel the pressure sometimes you'll see a blue hold where you keep it over at blue catwalk and rotate to blue door uh, depending on what happens with this over oh, frosty he just let Andre get away oh no you gotta wow. finish your kill oh actually no, i get it i get it let the let the over show go away go get the oh. sniper was that Andre that came back? Oh, yeah, yeah, i don't know <laughs> So much is going on here, Garrett. Uh, somehow Frosty, he, he pushes ball through. He wanted the snipe, but Envor wanted it more. He got the OS, he came back, he got the snipe, and now he's getting kills and the ball in his hands as well. Envor doing it all. He'll rotate it over to Cage here and get the opening time. But yeah, put it down. Put the snipe back in your hands and see you make plays. Hey, you know, you guys might not like this, but this is what peak performance looks like. He was able to get the overshield. He got the sniper rifle. He immediately puts a clip in. He, he's doing what's necessary for his team. And he's not missing. Unfortunately, there's one behind. Oh, no, I thought the punch was going to connect. Unfortunately, it doesn't. Frosty able to make the play. He has a sniper back in his hand, making up for the early blunder as his teammates are able to find the kills and they retake blue. What a successful retake. Absolutely incredible from the side of Seth. 
Sentinels. It's one mistake, one opportunity that's needed, and Sentinels will take advantage in every objective game type. Oh, we'll see Ryan Noob try his best to hold him off. Oh, my God. As he's, oh, actually what? gets the kill on Lethal. Oh, my. Oh, Lethal got his thumbs broke. Oh, no, that's not what you want to see. And Flyers recovered quickly all. from Sentinels breaking through blue. A bit of an ankle breaking at a Ryan Noob right there. He lived, and because of it, they, like you said, they break out of blue. They got a chance with high ground here to turn things in their favor, but Envor getting dropped by Frosty. Frosty looking to turn two here. He's got the bead on the bottom mid. Beautiful angle and shots to close it out. He's looking for spawners. Nades into, into red. That player is going to take a mad dash over to tower. They're trying to out-rotate Frosty, who's hunting them down, but it looks like it's working. They'll keep him back, and the team shot too strong. The chase is on, though. Royal 2 ball in hand. He's trying to out-rotate this Ball's team. Look wrong. at this as he takes it outside. He can't play it, though. And multiple members of Sentinels dropping as Flyers get control. And the, the timing ball. of this control is massive. OS is about to pop here. Flyers holding down center map. Frosty with a massive kill, but the OS still in the hands of the ball. And I love the fact that Connolly picked it up. With ball in hand, that ball. OS pops instantly. He doesn't have to click it on the body. No, that was so smart from Commonly because he did even more than that. Other than just standing on the pedestal of the ball, he waited till he took damage. He absorbed shots because he knew to instantly put on. He basically let himself get almost one shot, put the ball, uh, put the overshield on, and basically magnified as much overshield as possible. He didn't want to burn any of it. Love to see it. It gets his team a nice chunk of time, and he outplays his opponent. Oh, I thought he was just going to push forward and get a back spec. Oh, Commonly. Commonly's outplaying. Commonly looking great. There's a reason why this man's an X game gold oh, medalist. Oh. Lethal, you have silver. Commonly, he has gold. The boy who lived, Garrett. Oh, Somehow wow. he slipped out. They didn't you see him. He came back, got a double. He's a pair of glasses and a scar on the forehead away from Harry Potter, this man. You Put the ball, ball back in hand, and this is ball time for Flyers off of that play. Oh my, this is just, it's, it's impact plays that commonly makes. He's the IGL of the team. He has the most experience. He's been there. He's done that. He's He has the wins under the belt and it's showing right now. The man's executing and he gets the ball played at the perfect spot. He knows the Sentinels are pushing through. They're gonna play for the Reslays. You see the spawns come out from the outside. It's up to commonly to stay alive for long enough to let the help come through and for them to find the Reslays. Oh, here we go. Man with a plan. Frosty. Oh, no, but he's dropped quick. Commonly puts him down. X Games mode activated. Can he hit the shots, though? He no. does whiff it and then drops. <laughs> Snipe put him in a immediately. <laughs> Not ideal. Lethal has it now. And Lethal, he's put this out. <laughs> You're still laughing about it, Gary. <laughs> that, was, that was guilty. <laughs> that was disgusting. And Lethal goes and drops the ball out center with the snipe. What was that play? I, I, I don't, don't know care. how I feel about it with this. the snipe <laughs> now down. And the, the, the camo or OS coming up as well. Flyers are prioritizing this instead. Snakebite, no choice but to get into the fray. But he, oh, he gets a huge clutch kill. Royal 2 gets one as well. Snake, Sentinels can get the OS off of this. And ball time, everyone, it, it's so scrappy. This is wild, Garrett. Oh, man, I still can't get over it. Lethal, <laughs> Lethal put him in the blender. <laughs> oh, my. Godly, you had a great play as Lethal puts that one short. Frosty's able to get the sniper rifle back in his hands. Although he's had it for most of the game, it doesn't feel as if he's made too big of an impact with it yet. Overshield in the hands of Royal 2, and he has a noob combo to go with it, so it's going to take an effort to burn him off that. Commonly able to grab the sniper rifle once again. Flyers are able to maintain this. But what's so interesting to me, Shy, is this ball has been unorthodoxly put in a tower multiple times this game. You don't see this as often on Eden on Oddball because there's no real play spot inside the tower. Very hard to play the ball, ball in tower. Coming. Instead, you just get scrappy battles left and right and a hope to drop it out bottom mid. But Connolly, oh, 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 I love that stick out of him. A great entrance into tower here, but he's going to be denied very quickly by that combo. So down for the count, ball back out center, though. It looks like they didn't get time on it. I think it reset. Instead, Royal 2 just dropping days left and right here. He'll drop after. And that ball now in the hands of Flyers as they look to rotate it out. The better ideal position here would be get it out to Red Bend. Get a setup going. We haven't seen, like you said, we haven't seen one proper setup because of the slays left and right. Nobody getting the opportunity to do it. CC looking for his chance, but the longer he sits here, the more time Sentinels can come in and start to make plays. Enemy CC, the, the Cavalry's here. How does he weave through the cracks? Wow. Gonna get the double maybe here. He gets one. Looking for a second. Ten Look at this. Flyers right. pull it away. Three we kills the and the ball. This is the setup you wanted to see. They can rotate it over to red, but oh, there's a double dilemma, right? CC wants the snipe, snipe but they do have the ball the set up. They have to give up snipe. 
They have to give up Snipe, and they have to give it up to the most dangerous man on the planet. Frosty's going to be able to put it out. Although, they have outside spawns for now. Royal 2 is going to try to make that not a reality with these kills. But Overshield's coming up, and it's going to come down to which other team gets this to determine where the pacing of this game is going to go. And that should be an Overshield for Sentinels. Ball gets played. Now it's up to the retake. Sentinels have their opportunity. It's time to execute. All they needed was the battering ram. Well, they got an OS lethal, and they got Frosty, who is blaming his spawners. He's not done yet. There's one directly. Oh, no, he didn't see it. Oh, almost connects. It would have been clean, but it was commonly has been sniffing out this sniper all game. He's had a few chances with it. This time, he has five shots to make an impact here. Player directly above. He hears it. I think it's, oh, it's Royal 2. I was thinking it would be Frosty wanting that sniper back, but commonly fends it off for now. You get an angle over the tower, though. Can't snap onto oh it. God. Three peaks and Blaine's <laughs> Frosty sit down. Commonly's heating up. Have the ball. And can he get more? You know, you know, Commonly's confident right now by how he's taking these challenges. He has no fear. He's paying no respect to the dynasty. He's trying to force this game five, and he's doing a beautiful job at it. And once again, we're seeing ball, the ball, ball start to rotate towards ball tower. Uh, the unorthodox plays the from Flyers, and it's giving them a lead. And finally, this is what we more expect. Ball he's ball playing ball. that window. He knows that the spawns are towards Blue Bend. He's we trying to isolate the out the angles from the players and Sentinels. They're starting to get kills. Okay, on board, you know, maybe. Maybe not use the BR again. It, it's it's kind of <laughs> trash, and we see why he's not able to put the shots in to keep his life. But the lead is doubled at this point. Commonly, he's slaying. He's holding the ball. You he's dictating the, ball. the rotations, and it's giving his team an opportunity to push it to five. Ball out of bounds. Sad day when a ball Halo incoming. game has a bad BR. Uh, hopefully, Infinite doesn't make the New same mistake. Ball. Either way, no low blow. I love Halo Five. This game's still going though, Garrett and Flyers with the clear advantage. I love. This out of by the way. What a sneaky play. Shots into both of them. Gets one one shot. Takes out World 2. He's got a spree of his own. And Flyer's looking to pull the ball off of that. But the OS about to pop here. Lethal. Can he do anything to defend it? Commonly just bobbing and weaving. Gonna keep him back on the stairs. Lethal coming out with the challenge. Lethal can't get the window. Commonly with a five to drop him again. And that ball, that that OS that's gotta be in the hands of Flyers because of it. No way. He's still going, Garrett. That's a double right here. Come put him down. Commonly is gross. What is going on? He's taking over this game. He is the reason why Flyers won in game three, and he's the reason why they're going to push this to five. Ryan Noob has the overshield. Flyers we are in position at this point. They just Ten have to choke to the game away right. with Super CC getting the double. There's really only one more opportunity for Sentinels to find the break and on board fighting that kill Sniper to me. Puts field. this in the grave. Rest in peace. We're moving to game five. You gotta find a way to revive your chances, your hopes of continuing on in this bracket. Sentinels, this was not a pretty one, and now it's just up to Flyers to finish it. I can't believe it, Garrett. Flyers were not done yet. They are not going down without a fight. They are absolutely showcasing that they're in it to win it today. Frosty does have the snipe. He is trying to get some defensive kills, but at this point, it's too little too late. Commonly has unlocked the potential we've been waiting to see all tournament long. He was the star of this game, Garrett. And Envoy looking to close it out with a clean shot. Let's see if he does it either way. He'll die. That's 150. That's a dominant scoreline. 150 to 52 to not only swing back the momentum, to swing the series back, give us a game five, and give us a slayer against Sentinels. And, and I know Slay I know Sentinels have, have won the Slayer in this series, but man, not like this, Garrett. Not like this. Flyers, they're coming out of nowhere. They're not show stopping. Kill, show kills, show kills. Thank you. I was 20 and 11. <laughs> show the kills. I was, I was hoping they'd show the kills before the before the hose gets reset. 24 to 15. Oh my God. The, the commonly and Envoy together were just proved to be way too much. Royal 2 trying Damn. his best at 21 and 17, but that was just a display. I That might be one of the best games that we'll see from an individual player all day. Oh what God. commonly did on this all game what, was one of the grossest Envoy things I've seen. Well. Yeah, Envoy had it, but the, what com commonly makes like these just massive impact plays. Envoy, I expect oh, him to go shot. do crazy things, grab what he needs to do and, and find slays. He's just that all individually talented. But Commonly, his plays are impactful. They're pivotal. They're, they are monumental to their success. I love what we saw from Commonly. That spree where he had back-to-back -back killing sprees and he put Sentinels on notice is what we expect. Here he is. Here's the boy who lived. By the way, he shouldn't have even, even lived here. If we back that one up, if possible, like this specific play, 
uh, you'll see that he was one shot. They would have called this out. Sentinels would have called this. Look, he's getting tagged up. Call out uh, one player in power. One shot right here. Look at the one bullet. He sprint slides. Gets behind the wall just in time. And Snakebite doesn't see it. So despite the call out, that was so beautiful, right? That was just perfectly executed rifle. to flip the situation, turn it into a double. And that was just the start of the, the impact the plays commonly made. Ball incoming. Yeah, commonly just every play, it seemed as if it was him breaking the Sentinels' New chances. It, it was like as if he was ruining their hopes and dreams. But now the question is, is we're going to game five and we've seen this before. The last time these two teams met in game five, it was a 50 to 49 on truth. And it was a heartbreaking loss for Flyers because they built oh, no. a massive lead in game five and they weren't able to finish it. I forgot about this. Let's focus on this for a second. He's one shot. Frosty's focusing on him. Frosty's taking the shots. Oh. He doesn't care. He just oh, goes remain. for it and hits the it hits the headshot. Perfect play. I Connolly was paying no respect ego to versus ego. Yeah. ego versus ego. Well, Frosty has the clear, you would think the advantage, but just the ego, man. You know he's feeling himself at this point. Commonly knows he's cracked. He knows he can hit these shots, so he puts Frosty down, and that's the statement you need to see. But Flyers, their coordination, their ability to weather the storm and fight back. I was seeing the uh, the shadows in the chat, by the way. I got to do, do it as well. Uh, massive shout out to their coach, Garrett Callis. Coach Callis has been keeping this Flyers team coordinated and ensuring that they stay, uh, they play their best in these high stakes situations. They've got themselves back down to game five here, and they have a coach who's supporting them, making sure they're making tricky macro plays. I mean, commonly look at these plays out of him. I guarantee they've got that coach supporting them here. Yeah, there, there's a reason why out of all the AM teams, the team that Sentinels has trouble with the most is Flyers. And it's because they're the team that's most like Sentinels. They're the team that focuses on the macro, focuses on the team play. And it's as if Sentinels just have to play a better version of them. It's as if Flyers are just playing a better version of themselves and they'll find opportunities to win games. The problem with Flyers is the Slayer. They haven't been able to really take them off of Sentinels and we'll We'll have to see if that changes in this fifth game. This is it, Garrett. Game five. Elimination bracket. The winner moves on. The loser goes home. And it's the Sentinels tournament. It's the Sentinels in the spotlight. Pressure on them. But Flyers out of nowhere. They have come in hot. They've got momentum. Can Sentinels do anything to turn it around? Coming off of this opening strap, Frosty going to try to play it sneaky, but that's Snipe. That's the focus for Frosty. You know he wants this Sniper. He'll come in from behind. He already has Envor, but he... Oh, he got it! Surgically removing Envor from the equation, but the OS in front of Frosty, he's got to burn ammo. That's the best way to keep him off the map in the Snipe in the hands of Blue. Oh, man, I, I love these routes that we're seeing from Frosty. He's just taking unorthodox angles in order to get the sniper rifle back in hand. But Snake Bite, that, that was literally a spawn trap to the definition. He, he, trap, moved, he moved one second forward and he died. Spawn trap. They're doing it. They're doing the next spawn trap here. They're going to keep him back in the bottom of lift. And CC is just going to hold it down from glass. If they have players up in cafe, that perimeter, then Sentinels have no choice but to, but to spawn in nest. And then they have two options. They go up the lift or they go out the tight hallway. And Flyers knows that if they keep them locked in this terrible oh spawn God, they're cycle, going down. They their options down. are limited. Look, they're going down again. And then they're going to back up. Oh, wait, they got to split. If they, if they push too far, then you get splits in yard. And as long as they're ready, I mean, CC is cracked. He's hitting everything. They're keeping him back on yard and nest at the same time here, Garrett. This is a display of macro. Oh. This is a display of macro. Finally, Lethal is able to break out, pry away that player out of glass. But man, that was a display of the macro ability on this map from Flyers. They just kept them corralled in a nest and dominated for that little spree. Unfortunately for them, it's now Sentinels that are making the comeback. They're starting to win the fights. Envoy able to take down Royal 2 Snake by uh, <laughs> setting up uh, his hut in S4. But Flyers, they built themselves oh. a lead. Now it's about maintaining it. This is what happened the previous time they played in game five. It was Flyers who started off hot, got a lead and then lost it all at the last moment still early in the game can sentinels weather the storm and break away from the clear perimeter setup we're seeing 
out of flyers here. Snake might be in a nuisance. Spring jumping back and forth up to S4, diving out with the stabilize. He's doing everything he can to delay and get the shell for the OS. The OS about to pop here. Snake bite in a sneaky spot. He hears him jumping. He can't jump up himself though. They're gonna hear him and pinch him. He's gotta take one with him. He'll get the melee in behind the soda. He's out of the picture. OS up, but they pick it up. Sentinels have it. And Royal 2, can he make a play? The combo, he dodged it. He still has the OS. They're down by 11, but this is where Sentinels need to fire it up. Yeah, this is the fire's problem is that they they lose opportunities like this and now royal two and the crew taking advantage they're laying down the shots the trade outs are coming but it's all about getting the map control because on this map the nest spawn is so Sniper devastating if you can get a full trap you can absolutely come back down 15 20 kills in this game it's that uh, it's that oppressive when you get full map control Sniper rifles on the field Snake bite. He's gonna hold on to high ground here, trying to jump in with the challenge. It ends up being a trait. And I mean, that'll keep our game going, but the lead's still heavily in the favor of CC and the boys. He's got the snipe again. Watch your face, Frosty. He's already hitting shots. Five to work with here. And the beauty of this is not only is he getting kills, but he's keeping that snipe away from Frosty, shutting him down, making it so damn difficult for Sentinels. CC. Oh, he's looking to connect here, Chaz. He does get dropped. That snipe now down in dip. Commonly in team, they are up in cafe, but can Sentinels get to it? Do they have the info? Look at how sneaky they are. They're just hiding here. And they will, will likely see a trade out of this. Commonly actually can't get it. Instead, melee in and Envoy will help. Yeah, they're, they're able to get out of this situation for now, but Frosty was able to grab the sniper rifle, and this is going to be their way to, to form a comeback, and it's going to come from Frosty hitting some snipes. That player sees him at the right moment, is able to get out of driveway, and Frosty just looking for Flyers to expose. But I love Flyers. Flyers change the pace of their game so fast. Oh they're playing extremely so fast and hot in the start, and now they are just standing. They're building a fortress in the back of the base. They're forcing Frosty to hit the shots. You know this team as a coach, Garrett. Like, they're so coordinated. Look at this. They're all taking very specific positions, holding down. Frosty doesn't know where to go. He can't find an opening. They're holding down their, their line so, so efficiently, man. It's, it's driving me nuts. Where is that OS, though? Was it Snake burned? I don't it. see it. As Snake, the, bite, Snake has bite has it. it. Can he do anything with it? Down a bottom mid here. Gotta play a little ring around the Rosie. They'll get pelted by two. Oh, three. three now! Look at the cavalry. Everybody's coming He's in winning. to kill Snake Bite, but they're all dropping and he gets he gets three dead. Kill Somehow, three. Sentinels come out on top of that exchange, but they still got the gauntlet to fight through. I had Snake Bite. I mean, <laughs> that was a horde, a zombie horde. He's what playing that? left for dead. I, I don't know what that was. That was insane. Oh, my. I can't believe they come out on top. I mean, three players just put in as much as possible. But Super CC finds a double. And it feels as if Sentinels is doing what they can to keep this game within reach. But the closer we approach that 40 point mark, that's when the game becomes impossible, in my opinion. They have to make the spree happen now. They have five kills to give up to make this competitive. What a match we're witnessing. This has to be the most unique game of Plaza Slayer I think I've ever seen, Garrett. And it's still going, but a 10-kill deficit for, for Sentinels who just can't seem to find their footing. The 10-kill deficit continues. Sniper coming up less than 30 seconds here. Lethal does take one. Can they win the snipe? This is pivotal. Snake bike going to dive in. He's trying to help TJ, but TJ just getting doubled in bottom lift. Those players will not go up the lift. They'll leave it. They'll take new angles. And Snake bite. I like the attempt here. He's perched up on sign. Well, look at the timing. Going to dive in. Fading and switching here needs to live but an angle who got him somebody tagged him with the lr but still frosty battle of attrition and i think he may Sniper have made it to the, the snipe in hand can he make plays nine kills down frosty oh. we need to see you connect buddy oh, man and this is crazy that they have they have a 10 kill lead oh. And Sentinels has gotten basically every sniper and every overshield, and it's because they've been able to neutralize. Oh my Frosty! What Holy no scope, Ryan Noob! Oh, get deleted! This is a chance they've been waiting for. They can start collapsing on the spawn at gold, but they have to win the fights. But Frosty's clipping them with the sniper rifle. Hit another no. Just gonna miss it for so now. He still does it. Ryan Noob is, is Frosty is just owning no. right. Ryan Noob is Frosty's son. That's all I'm gonna say. What? Frosty, what in the <laughs> world are you doing with the sniper rifle? Right you lost me on that one, but somehow Frosty is alive. I, don't, I have no idea. The man's insane. He's still got a bullet in the chamber. Players in yard. Frosty still making plays. He puts it down. Hiding in the corner. They don't see him. Okay, for a oh, second no. I thought he just 
He's gonna back out. He needs to back out. Flyers, they're on the hunt for Frosty, who's on a tear, still living in the window. Snakebite takes him down. Frosty, the massive nuisance that he is. They can still do this, but they're down by seven. They need to win their fights. They need to hold off the line here. And Frosty, he's gotta hear the challenge coming through Cafe. When they get the info, they're gonna double him. Can he get a stick? He whiffs them both. Down for the count. And that's going to be critical because it's going to allow them to break through to blue and to give them spacing on the map. And we just see a massive fight one at Nest. Frosty's able to trade it out, but that's going to get them one kill closer. Snake fight's going to fight Onboard super sliding in a bottom Nest, but can't finish off the kill. And now he's exposed in the middle of the map and they're going to try to take advantage. Snake oh, fight just no. taking shots from either side. Only two kills left for the comeback uh, for this upset. The reverse sweep to become a reality. Make it one flyers. They've been waiting for this opportunity opportunity to playing practicing over and over again and finally the dynasty could come crumbling down frosty trying to do his oh, best no. but flyers do it they make the upset 50 to 42 they're finally able to win the fifth game versus sentinels they've done it the upset the dynasty it's crumbled oh no Oh, Flyers, what an impressive display in my MVP. It goes to two players. Onboard, commonly, they're the reason. They were the heart of this team. I mean, what the heck did we just watch? My God, what a series. What a game. Unreal, Garrett. Unreal. Sentinels, we thought they had it. All four of us on the desk, we all predicted Sentinels. We laughed at the idea of Flyers winning, Garrett. You heard it. Oh, man. Knighty said it. some savage things. <laughs> we didn't see this coming, but Flyers, they had a whole other plan in store. The reverse sweep, the comeback of the tournament so far. But what a game of Plaza. I just, I am flabbergasted. I can't believe it's CC, by the way. You shouted out Connolly Encore. I mean, CC, Ryan, they did their job. They did it well <laughs> this year. Just, you, you talked about the horde of zombies, by the way. Snake fight, the, the one opportunity with the OS, and just everyone is on him. Just what a game. Oh, man, I just... Airborne. I, I just, it's so much heart. I mean, one again, rewind that real fast. I, unfortunately, Frosty wasn't able to. Go oh, we got to see Frosty's place. But that 180 with the sniper rifle is just yeah. one of the nastiest things I've ever seen uh, done in, in competitive Halo. Oh, uh, man, Ryan Noob just was not having a fun time, but it's just the comeback came the too moves, late. Man. Okay, can we go back a little bit? Let me just try to talk about just everything that he's doing that, that's so damn sweet. Uh, just driving me crazy here. I mean, it all started with the, what, the 180 on S4, which is a little bit of a ways back now. But uh, we don't have to go that far, maybe. I mean, I I'm down for wherever you take me, Lou. Where do you want to take me, Lou? Right here, right here, right here, right here. All right, Frosty. So he whips a couple. This one's unlucky. He hits the uh, the side of the, the garbage can there. Doesn't work out. He'll spring jump his way up to S4. Somehow live. Spring jump is the best way to live here. And my god, dude. Thrust backwards, snap, and connects. I want to say 0.001% of players are going to make this happen on a flyby like this. Only Frosty, mid-thrust, will connect, hit the face of Ryan Noob. And he's not done. This is where he makes the rotation here. Check it. Look at the reticle placement, too. His ability is so efficient, checking every single important angle as he moves across the map. You're listening as well. But then this pinch is beautiful. It's a flank. His teammates are drawing aggro from center, so he can come in, even though he whips the snipe somehow. Dude, bring that one back. He should have died. Look at the strafe, by the way. People love to talk about, oh, Halo 5, you can sprint, you can thrust. The strafe ain't important. Strafe ain't important. Look at Frosty's strafe, by the way. He'll come through flank and get the kill. And the only reason he lived was because of the strafe here. Watch this. Drop. And watch the little left, right. Bam, bam. Well, he switches. Look at that strafe with the crouch. And then a jump and snaps and hits Ryan Noob, who's just left flailing. There's no way he would have lived if he didn't hit that tight strafe and that crouch and that jump. It's just every little aspect of that move plus the timing of it all made it so difficult for royal 2 and uh shout out to theater mode making that shot look a little whack then the jump to the sign that's beauty right off the uh the pedestal he'll jump off the sign cut the hall angle and turn at the same time anyway i i feel like i'm doing a full game breakdown at this point garrett but i'm, I'm losing my mind on it frosty uh he stole the stole the show with that game but unfortunately flyers as a team they won
Yeah, Frost, I, Frosty had an incredible games uh, throughout the entire series, but uh, it's just a testament to how close these games were. I mean, that, that Coliseum CTF, if you guys recall, it was it was 2-2 down to the wire, and it was an individual play by Frosty that really cemented it, and it was just, it seemed as if it was that entire way throughout the entire uh, best of five. All right, Garrett, I think it's about time. Let's get Nighty, let's get Tony back in here. And uh, and I, I want to see some some heads down down low. I want to see you guys uh, eat your words. Now we we all voted against Flyers, but Nighty, I'm going to start with you because you were particularly savage. Yeah, those first two games looked great. I was man, I was I was hyped. I was like, okay, this is, this is awesome. That game three though, they just totally turned that around. Rick Stronghold. Flyers came to life with some big plays, and they didn't stop. That was unbelievable. Hammy is a problem, uh, commonly. Commonly is just, he's the hammy hammer. Like, he just, he just <laughs> put it down and didn't stop banging on Sentinels all series long after that. When Game 3 happened, boom, we saw the best game out of him in Game 4, and then Game 5, he closed it out. He was just super aggressive, like we saw the Zerg rush, the zombie horde. Like, that was them the entire game. They were flying. It was unreal what they did. I had absolutely no faith, zero belief, <laughs> but man, I'm believing now. I believe they can fly. I mean, yeah, it, it seems like this guy's the limit. Let's see how far they can soar. Tony, uh, any takeaways from that series? Uh, yeah, I mean, I, 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 got, I owe them an apology. I mean, Flyers, they they look absolutely incredible. I, it was it was scary. It was literally scary how good they looked. Uh, I, yeah, the first two games went to Sentinels. They looked, uh, I mean, I, I think game, game two, in fact, Royal 2 and Frosty added up for 32 kills and 16 assists. And they still only they, they still only won by two kills. Then I, after that, I, that kind of made me a believer. That oddball was insane. It was just wow. Yeah. I, I, I apologize, Flyers. You guys are the real deals. You guys have earned this spot, and now they get to go up against the Kansas City Pioneers. I'm excited to see it.